This is a Moses in a cradle plant. Some, some people like to call these oyster plants, but the Latin name for this is Tradescantia pascaea. Spathacea. Tradescantia spathacea. So this is a plant that we got pretty recently. Uh, it was a gift to us from some friends of ours, and it's kind of a cool plant um, from what some basic research that I've done on this is that it's a really easy plant to take care of. It doesn't require too much sunlight, doesn't require full sun, but at the same time it needs a little bit of sun. So it's kind of a nice easy going plant. A lot of people like to place these outdoors in their gardens and that's kind of those YouTube videos that I've seen out there. But these can also be grown indoors and that's going to be especially great for people who don't live in their preferred hardiness zone. So the Moses and the Creole plant is originally from Guatemala and southern Mexico. So those are kind of like in the more hot and humid areas. And these plants prefer to live in hardness zones of between 9 and 11. So where I live in Seattle, we live in a hardness zone of 8B. And so it's just a little bit below their preferred temperatures or their preferred climate. My recommendation for people who are kind of like me, they live in more colder areas, I would recommend you probably want to keep these indoors so they don't freeze to death. And that's kind of what I've been doing. We kind of have them placed near a uh, north facing window. I think these guys will do best in uh, north and east facing windows where they're getting a decent amount of sunlight, but not too much like in a south facing window. And they're getting a medium amount of sunlight, but at the same time, not too much and not too little. The Moses and the Cradle plant will also prefer to have uh, not too much water. Um, I would say probably a medium amount of water. You don't want too much. You don't want to water it all the time. I think these guys will do best when they're watered uh, sparingly, uh, but probably not as little as like say a snake plant or a succulent. So for that reason, I would recommend you give them a kind of a more porous soil mixture. You want to make sure that there's um, a decent amount of drainage in that soil because uh, you don't want to overwater this plant. So I would say you could probably get away with watering them maybe once every one or two weeks, and that'll probably give it enough water to survive. And there's like several different varieties. I'm not sure what names the different varieties have, but the one that I have right here, I think it kind of has some glossy colored leaves. Um, you can kind of see the purple coming through. Uh, there's like some lines of purple, pink that kind of come through in these green areas here on the top side of the leaves. And then on the bottom here, it's like all purple and all like uh, violet colored. And that's what I kind of like about this plant. It has um, very different colors than just like all green or all yellow or something. Um, it kind of gives some interesting color in the house. And these are also pretty easy to propagate. Like all you would have to do is you just have to watch, cut it off um, at the top here and you just need to place the nodes into the soil where they can reproduce. And the nodes are kind of these areas um, where you can kind of see like the leaves sprouting off of. Um, so there's a couple nodes in there and those are the areas where roots are going to grow and the plant's able to uh, reproduce or propagate itself. So these might do well outdoors um, if you live in hardness zones between 9 and 11. But outside of that, I would recommend probably keeping them indoors where you can kind of control the temperature a little bit more. Otherwise, especially in extreme weather conditions, um, like if it's really cold or really hot, then um, this plant might not do so well. Long story short, Moses in a cradle plant, it's really easy to take care of, pretty low maintenance, doesn't need too much sunlight and water sparingly, but not too sparingly. So that's pretty much it for this video. Just a quick video, wanted to share with you my research on this plant. Um, I couldn't find too much research out there on this, but just a really cool plant that I think would be great for anyone trying to get into um, indoor gardening. Or just wants a really easy plant that doesn't need too much work to take care of and has pretty good chances of success. So. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you liked it, if you learned something new, or if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.